to Lamar Whitley Show. I'm your host, Lamar Whitley. And I'm your co-host, Michelle Knoll. Right now, we're at the Dixon Intermediate Football Field. And Lamar, I bet this brings a lot of memories back for you. A lot of great memories out here. Just, you know, seeing the football, the football team out here. You know, the grass field, but no grass field, actually really dirt. You know, remind me of when I played football at Sagan High. Just a dirt field, put some lines on the field. Whatever team coming there, we just whoop on that day. Speaking of whooping on people, you did win against the Colts. Congratulations on a great win. It was the kind of game where you were literally at the edge of your seat, but a lot of people didn't expect that with Peyton Manning not playing for his team. Yeah, it, it was an ugly win, but at the end of the day, a win is a win. And you know, at the end of the day, people are gonna ask, did you win or did you lose? And the first thing they're gonna ask is, did you win? And then they're gonna ask about the score. Um, so we won 13-10. You know, luckily we came out, James Harrison came out in the, in the, in the second half and forced a fumble when Troy ran it in. And usually when the defense put points on the board, you come out on top. Yeah, speaking of uh, Ben, he had a little bit of a leg injury in the game against the Seat against Seattle. Is he doing okay? Because he looked like he was doing okay in the game. Uh, ben, ben was doing just fine. You know, we had a few turnovers here and there, but that's what the team is all about. The offense go in there, turn over the ball. It's up to the defense to go out there and shut them down and put our offense in good field position, put points on the board. And James Harrison, too, he had a little bit of some back pain. Is he okay? James Harrison do is fine. Did you see the play he yeah, made? He made I a great mean, play. I mean, a great play coming <laughs> off the edge. I mean, forced the fumble. Troy picked it up and ran it in. I mean, that, that really was a game champion right there. <laughs> so we talked enough about the Steelers. Let's talk a little bit about some more football because there's all kinds of stuff going on with the Eagles, other teams. Let's get into Michael Vick. Tell us what's happening with him. You know, Michael Vick uh, was complaining a little bit, talking about he doesn't get the same calls as whether Pey Peyton Manning or Eli Manning or Tom Brady, you know, after, you know, far as getting hit as a quarterback. Mm -hmm. But being that Michael Vick is a running quarterback, him and Ben doesn't get the calls. You look, you take last year, um, Ben broke his nose. Him, got reached in his face mask and broke his nose, nothing. Yeah. But if that was Peyton Manning or if that was Tom Brady, it would have been a media flag right away. Mm -hmm. And that's something Vick is complaining about, being that he's a running quarterback and an aggressive quarterback. Him and Ben are not getting the calls as, you know, the elite quarterback, as they say, that stays in the pocket. Were people receptive to the interview with Mike Vick? Because I know he voiced his feelings about that. Uh, I definitely was. I understand where he's coming from. You know, being that he's an aggressive quarterback, a quarterback that, that's physical mm -hmm. and that likes to run, the referee is not giving him the call. When you look at a guy like Peyton Manning, you look at a guy like Tom Brady, they stay in the pocket. And those quarterbacks that stays in the pocket don't get hit much. You know, the referees are more protective of them than the physical quarterbacks like Michael Vick and Ben Rosenberg. Mm -hmm. Now, we have some guys on the team that are fashionable. They bring out the suits, the best dress. I actually believe we have Ryan Clark and who else? You know, Heinz Ward, I think, Ryan are Cl the best dressed. Right. You have <laughs> Ryan Clark, you have Heinz Ward, you have Will Allen, you have Brian McFadden, you have James Ferrier. Even some of the offensive linemen are really stepping up their, their dress game and, and wearing suits. And next week, I'm going to finally put on a suit oh, and, um, and step it up a little. To compete a little bit because you know everybody's up on the plane and everybody's like look at this guy look at that guy and i have to finally step it up you see i popped my collar a little bit you know to show everybody what i look like but i'll be wearing my suit next week so can we expect you to be best dressed lamar oh you think you think you could be on the top of the list above ryan clark heinz ward those guys have been in the game for a while see that's the thing those guys have been in the game for a while so you see them in a suit a lot but usually a guy like myself who don't wear a suit when i finally put a suit on you really see how lamar can bring sexy back you know what i mean that's just how it is okay we're definitely ready to see that you know lamar i've been thinking we talk about football a lot but i think i want to challenge you today oh, i'll tell you what i play to win the game <laughs> i play to win the game so if we come out here i play to win i hate to lose if i win against any of these little kids out here i play to win the game it doesn't age doesn't matter age gender nothing doesn't matter out here in this football field well, I actually have a team ready for you today, and I okay. want to go against you. So this is a challenge, and I think I'm going to win. Whatever challenge you got, <laughs> I play to win the game. So I definitely want to mention that the Pittsburgh Passion, they've helped me with a couple of moves. So you ready to play? The pa wait, the Passion is the ladies' football team, right? Yep. What's wrong with ladies? No, they're not participating though, right? No, but they helped oh, cool. me. With no, I've I seen them play. I, no, I, I, no, no. I've seen them play, and those Lamar, girls are aggressive. Lamar doesn't think nah. that I can win. No, I've I, I seen I see those girls play, and they're, they're aggressive yep. football players, and 
I mean, they hit hard, and if they was playing, you know, my back's still a little bit sore for another day, so I didn't want to go up against any of them. Well, today we're going to play with some younger kids, and they're so excited to play with us, Lamar. And I'm sure you're excited to see us play, so we want you to stay tuned to the Lamar Whitley Show on Hoopla TV. We'll see you on the field. No prisoners. We don't hold up against nobody. We winning. You better bring your A game. And you too. I had that on my team. What's my team called? Team Woodley. Team Woodley. Oh, you gotta, you gotta need some little, we need a better name than that. What kind of name you want? We'll go with Team Woodley. We'll go with Team Woodley. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. I'm the Troy Palomalo of this defense, baby. I'm the Troy. Come on. Oh, yeah. So we gonna get, we gonna get an interception. Not a hard, we don't need a hard rush. We want them to throw the ball. No! Flag on the play! Well, we just kicked Lamar Willie's butt, girls! No, actually, on, on the last play, false start, <laughs> right tackle move, players on the review. Um, no way. We got cheated. Don't be a sore loser. You know, the referees these days doing a bad job. <laughs> you know, we actually we actually won, y'all, you know. Cheated with me. Got it up. No, 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 Anyway, thanks for joining us. You can contact me and Lamar on Twitter and Facebook. And this has been the Lamar Willie Show on Hoopla TV. Woo! Future outside linebacker, I'm recruiting him right now. Be outside linebacker, University of Michigan, wearing number 56. And then we'll draft him here in Pittsburgh. I'm recruiting already. I'll start early. This age. I come get you. How old are you, man? Say one. One. One years old. I recruit early. See, look at that talent. Look, striking the pole. He knows what to do. Pop it up. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Let me tell you about football. <laughs> you got great. You got wins when you dominate teams, and you got you got wins when you win by one point, two points. It's all about did you win or did you lose. Right. We won by three points. Wasn't the prettiest thing, but we won. That's all you ask for at the end of the day. Exactly. Did you win or did you lose and did you play your heart out? If y'all want to be champions, y'all got to work hard each and every day and be committed to this and push each other in practice. And listen to these coaches, man. They're important to listen to your coaches, man. Everybody can't do this because if everybody could do this, they would be here. You know, your friends, I'm like, man, I'll go out there and crack somebody. Well, why you ain't here? The ones that's committed to this is here today. The ones that can do this because if everybody can do it, you have two or three hundred people out here. Everybody can't do this, man. Trust me when I say it. Everybody can't do this. You gotta, get, man, you gotta come in with the Swiss Belt chant now, bro. <laughs> I know it. You about to get recognized to it. Who won it? We won it! Let's get it! Let's get it! What's the motto? Go on! We win it! That's right. Swiss Belt on three, fellas. One, two, three. Swiss Belt! Hey, I'm not, we gonna steal that. <laughs> get that? I hope you got it. I like that. I like that. You like it? You got that? Hey. that yeah, I like that chat. <laughs> Do it on Lamar Show.